All right. Um, I ordered some 82C, I mean, uh, yeah, 82C55s. The 8255s, the CMOS version. 82C55, right? <laughs> Try to remember the number. Um, anyway, I have, have that populated in the board now, so I have a full complement of all the chips. Um, I thought I would maybe play with the I.O. ports on the um, on the Zeta. So you can see right now that I have a, uh, a scope probe connected to pin 2 of the uh, parallel port connector. Pin 2 is address 0 of the um, a bit 0 of um, port A. The 8255 has three ports, A, B, and C, and you can configure them as input or output. Um, so I thought I would write a program to configure them uh, as outputs and then try to write um, to port A and uh, see if uh, see if we see a signal on the um, on the uh, port there. Okay, uh, here we are in CPM. Let's go over to the A drive. Uh, just to speed things up, um, I have already created a file. Um, just in case uh, you've missed it before, we have a program called ZDE. Oops, I'm oh, sorry. It's on the B directory. It's called ZDE. It's basically a WordStar clone. And we have a, a program called uh, Testa ASM. Whoa! B ZDE te Testa ASM. There we go. Um, so this is the program. Uh, I don't have any fancy mnemonics or anything. It's just uh, kind of a quick and dirty. So we're going to org at 100. Um, all CPM programs have to live at 100. We're going to move immediate uh, 80 to, to A and then output it. So we're going to write um, 80 to address uh, a port uh, 80, uh, 63. So port 63 is the control port on the 8255. Again, you can set it up as uh, different types of uh, handshaking and different input, either ports and input or output. I think you can split the B port, uh, the C port into four bits out, four bits in. Anyway, um, 8.0 sets all the ports as output as simple I.O., so 8.0. Once we have the port, uh, the chip commanded to be output, output, output on the three different ports, um, I'm going to um, create a loop here. I'm going to write 0 to 60 and then write FF to 60. 60 is port A, 61 is port B, 62 is port C and then 63 is the control port. All right, so this should set zero, output it, set FF, output it. So we should see set kind of a square square wave on the uh, on the uh, oscilloscope if it's working. So if you need to type this in and then save it, you can hit Control K, uh, just unsaved. No, we're just gonna go out. Um, so save it away, then you need to assemble your program. Um, and assembles it, and then you need to load it. And that loads it. We can take a look at the um, assembled program. Um, here we're moving uh, 80 to, to A. We're going to output it to 63. Here we're loading A with 0 and output it to 60. And then we're going to loop back. Um, this is a jump. Uh, 0104, so it's going to loop back to here. So the assembly looks all okay. And now all we have to do is say test. And let's go take a look at the oscilloscope. All right, uh, we're running our program test. So let's take a look at the oscilloscope. There we go. And we're getting uh, toggling on and off. Excellent. So our, our program is working. And uh, I'll show you my show you my animals. These are uh, felt <laughs> felt animals. My daughter made those for me. Um, wacky animals. All right. Anyway, hope you had fun. I uh, learned a little bit today.